Hey guys, I'm back. As many of you know, I just got through a long trip. We went 500 miles with the family. It took a lot of time. So a lot of the videos that were coming out in the last week and a half were all scheduled videos. But now we've got some time. We're going to get back into some of the latest updates. So the first thing I want to talk about is the six star change. So they brought in another hero and at the same time talked or uh, brought on this six star. This caught me off guard. I was expecting Maybe before too long they might raise a level cap or something. I wasn't expecting a six star at this point. Um, and in many ways for me this was actually a negative thing. I was starting to get a bunch of my characters up to that four and five star mark. And that means that they were as competitive as they possibly could be at that, you know, at this level. And so it was working out really well. The other benefit was that that took all of those characters out of the pool of characters that you can get from the various summons. So once you get someone in the past, when you got them to the five star level, that's what a couple of those videos, I had some questions on those because they were released in between the time that they made the change. Um, so once you get them to that level, then they won't show up anymore as in part of your drops. And so now the case is going to be you have to have that character to the six star level in order for them to not show up as one of the rewards. So for me, again, that's kind of a negative thing. One, I was as competitive as anybody else with those five-star characters. And two, it allowed me to kind of systematically start getting the other characters that I really wanted to get. Now, that was especially important when I'm looking at the heroic summon. So looking at some of these characters here, um, I really wanted to get increased star level for Archangel Emily, uh, some for, let's see, Eagle Rock would be a big benefit. Um, I had Balog up to 5-star and working on a few of these others, getting them close to 5-star. So I was really excited about that. And similarly, on the Honor Summon. So I actually had a few heroes that were had gone all the way up to 5-star. Chief Nub Nub was one. Uh, Black Diamond. Uh, Dagron was getting right up there. I think he was only a couple away from getting to 5-star. Pontifex was already at 5-star. So a lot of them were getting right at that level. And I was looking forward to finishing the others off. But that's not going to happen. So the upside is that we can get characters now up to that six star level. The downside is it really makes it a lot harder. And I think disproportionately harder for people who don't put a lot of money into the game. Because uh, then you're not going to be able to do all those heroic summons rolls and continue to level your characters up. So I guess in terms of marketing for the game, for the developers, I can see why that would be a big plus for them, why adding a star seems like a really good thing. It can draw out people who are spending a lot of money, can spend more money. Um, for those who aren't spending so much money, it's probably not the best thing for them. But either way, it's a done now, so that's the new system that we are working in, and we'll try to go forward. One of the things that's happened in the last two weeks, I've been able to get a few more of these characters up to the five-star level range. I also hit the level cap, so I want to talk about that for a little bit. Let's go back out to the player level cap. I have this at level 61 now. And if you go in here, it says max hero level 61, but that's not actually true. So I've now maxed out even that 61 at 1899. It, you, know, you can't cross over to player level 62. But your maximum hero level is actually 60. And I didn't realize this before getting to that next level, before getting to the player level 61. I didn't realize it, even though there were some signs. When you go from 59 to 60 and you level up your character to level 60, it won't let you fill the level 60 bar. So you can see that is the case here. So you see at level cap, I can't even fill it to get almost to level 61. So you'll run into that as well. Again, it's, I think for me at least it was surprising going in. I wasn't expecting that. I thought that my characters could go up to 61, but they can't at this time. I would expect that they're probably planning on opening that up at some point. I've got a quest here. We'll go over to the quest that kind of hint to that already. Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. Obtain player rank 70. So right now that's not possible. I'm player rank 61, but just the fact that they put it in that way makes you think that that's probably some content that's going to come out in the near future, maybe a little bit longer medium term future, but that's something that they're planning on as well. For me, I'm glad to have hit the, the uh, hero max cap, the rank max cap right now, uh, for a couple different reasons. And the biggest one is so that I can start getting all of my heroes up to level and start playing with more teams 
which means I can be using different combinations in PvP and making some really fun combinations and fun videos out of that. So we'll look at look at these now. Um, now that I am at the level cap, I've got quite a few more. Let's take a look at how many I was able to get up to level 60 now. So that was 6. And here that brings us to 12. And it looks like 13. So I've now got 13 at level 60 and quite a few that are very close to that level. What you may be noticing, I was going to mention this earlier in the video, is that I was also able to upgrade my mic, so there shouldn't be nearly as much fuzz kind of in the background anymore. It may take a little tweaking to figure this new mic out a little bit better, but it should have much better sound quality. So a lot of these characters I'm continuing to try to get leveled up. I've got Life Reaper Brom here is almost a four star. Let's see, I actually didn't get in there. Here we go. All right, 82 out of 100. So he's three star. I've got a lot of them that are really close. Um, Echo's getting really close. Let's see, he might not be quite as much. 77. And then, obviously, Pontifex is already at five star. He's now working his way towards six star. Yokozuna is another key one I want to have for a defense party. And that's at 74 out of 100. And one other up here that I wanted to point out, Shadow Blade. So both Yokozuna and Shadow Blade require, or they only have three levels you can farm them on. And so I'm especially careful that I always hit those, even when other things are going on, trying to make sure I can get them up to that four-star level. Especially once you've hit the level cap, a lot of the other characters have very high-star characters you're going up against. So if you're not, if you're at three-star, you're going to be at a significant disadvantage. Four star might be about the average right now when you do see some five star characters. And then having a number of five star characters puts you at a higher advantage in PvP. So that's an important aspect I wanted to point out. And it is nice trying to bring up a lot of these to that level cap. Now at this point, there are two characters that are listed here. Since the last couple updates, we've got Indigo that I don't have yet. and Pygnius Maximus, and I do have quite a few tokens for him now, but again, you'd have to, I think they took away the levels that you could actually farm him. They had three levels you could work on on farming him from. So, not going to make any more progress there. I'm considering now making my way to VIP 5. Um, thanks to all the support for the channel, that's making it a little bit more, uh, a little easier to justify putting putting some more resource into this game and getting to that level and be able to unlock some of those things and making some more character videos. But I'm more interested in Indigo than Pygnius here. Indigo's got some really interesting energy bus boost on her passive that I think you might be able to get that to go off a lot and really provide for, especially in campaign, but then there might even be some interesting strategies for PvP where you can one, use, um, use that to, uh, to up the energy for your whole group, possibly as another counter for the Bovis Eldoro attacks, and then also her attack that shoots somebody into slow status would be an interesting one as well, although I believe that's on her third ascension, so on the attacking side, it's unlikely you'd ever get to use it. So we'll take a look at some of these, these things in future videos, but for now I want to do a quick overview of those characters. Let's go back out. So we've got a whole bunch of scrolls, and I'll make a video right after this. You'll probably see it on the following day. We've got a ton of scrolls here. We'll go through and honor someone's video right away. So that's all I want to talk about for the update so far, and we'll check back in soon. Thanks again, everyone, for watching.